Right, so this one's probably going to upset a few people, but it's something that is super important when you're starting a business. And the reason it's going to upset people is because it's actually the dark side, not the dark side, dark side makes it sound morbid. It's it's the unsexy side of starting a business, let's say. Right, you want to start a business, you you know, you've got this idea, it's, it might be a great idea, it's something you've wanted to do forever. Um, and then reality hits. It's like, oh shit, okay, if I actually want to make this fucking business work, what am I going to have to give up to make it happen? Right, the business that I started a few years ago is something that I, I had wanted to do for minimum 10 years prior to that. I just never felt like I was in the position to, to actually do it. But when I did, I jumped in head first and basically gave up everything else, right? Now, look, other than family, of course, look. So that's what you've got to look at. You've got to look at, okay, I'm going to start this business. I want to make this business successful. I want that to be my main source of income. Or even if you're doing it as a side hustle, there's still a level of this that you need to look at, right? And other than time with my daughter, I was prepared to, to give up everything else. And there's three different areas that I looked at when I did this. The first one was time. I had to sacrifice a lot of other things to put time into the business. Um, and that's, that's really, that's number one, is what is it that you can sacrifice your time in doing to put back into the business? The next one's money. Now, this is probably the most unsexy one of the lot because everybody thinks, okay, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to make millions and blah, 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 blah. And look, you may well do. But in the short term, look, for the first 12 months, a little bit longer than that, I didn't actually pay myself anything out of the business, probably about 18 months, actually. I didn't pay myself a regular wage. I just didn't do it. And even when I started doing it, it was like a minimum amount. I was living on $600. On my personal, what the business was paying me was $600 a week. Like, it was making a lot more than that, but the money was staying in the business so I could reinvest it back into growing the business. I wasn't taking money out and going and buying a new car and going and buying this and that and whatever else. I kept it in the business to help grow the business. So that's the second one is my suggestion – and what I've done with my business is keep as much money in the business as you can. Even now, even now, I'm paying myself. My regular weekly pay is substantially less than $1,000 a week. And I've got what I consider to be a, a fairly successful business three years in, and I'm still paying myself bugger all because I want to make sure that the money stays in the business for as long as possible so that I can do something else with it, so I can look at hiring people, so I can look at building new systems and taking on new clients and looking at new ways of servicing those clients. It's it's something that I feel like it's better spent there. Then what am I going to do? I'm going to take the money out of the business and what, go and blow it on a trip to the casino or go and blow it on some new clothes or a new car that I don't actually – like, for what? There's no benefit to that at all. I'd rather keep it in the business and make the money work within the business. And the third one is leisure, which kind of a little bit plays into time because you're taking time away from doing leisure activities. I don't go out every week and play golf. I don't go out with my mates every week and have a drink. I don't you know, do all of those things. And even now, three years into the business, I'm still not really doing those things. I'll go out every now and then. But it's definitely not an every weekend thing. It's, there's just no I, – I don't see the value in it. Why am I going to go – I'm going to go to the pub or the bar and spend $200 on a meal and a bunch of drinks or even $100, whatever it is, for what? Or put that money back into the business and keep growing the business. right? Now, you – Make the choice yourself. What is it that you feel like is going to work for you? For me, it was easy. For me, I took basically 100% of my time 
other than spending time with my daughter and invested it into the business. I was working ridiculous hours. I was all those things that I, I thought as somebody who'd never owned a business before, my thought behind it was if you want to make the business successful, you have to work a stupid amount of hours and give up everything else. I kind of inherently already came into it with that mindset, but I know a lot of people don't. I know a lot of people see this laptop lifestyle and all this bullshit that they see on Instagram and think that that's what it's going to be like and you're going to be a millionaire in six months' time. And it's not going to happen. It's just not. It's going to be a long... Take take the long-term viewpoint on it. It's going to be a long, hard, slow process. It's lonely as fuck because you're working stupid hours where there's nobody else there. Look, even now, I work not, you know, not open and honest. I'm not working 18 hours a day like I used to. I'm probably doing somewhere between 12 to 14, 15 an hour, uh, sorry, a day right now. So it's not as much as what it was three years ago. But if somebody said to you, look, for the first three years of your business, you have to work 15 hours, 16 hours a day and basically lock yourself away from the rest of the world other than business-related activities such as networking and other things that I've gotten into. But that's still business, right? But if you had to lock yourself away for three years from the rest of the world and with all these bullshit lockdowns with fucking COVID going on at the moment, it's... (laughs) You're kind of getting a little bit of a push along. You're forced into lockdown anyway. You may as well use the time for something good. But if somebody said to you, you had to lock yourself away from the world for three years to build a business working 15, 16 hours a day and doing essentially nothing else for three years, would you be prepared to do that? If you answer yes to that question then in my mind, at least, you're a million miles ahead of somebody that looks at that and goes, are you fucking kidding? No, I don't want to do that. That's not going to take me that long. I'm going to be killing it. I'm going to be making 200 grand a month in 12 months' time. Like, good luck to you. And it could happen. I'm not saying it never happens, but the reality and why so many businesses, like, what is it, 97% of businesses go out of business in the first three years, people are taking money out of out of the business to live whatever lifestyle they want to be living. And I've seen it. I've had clients that have done it. I've had friends that have, have done it, that have started a business, and it's lasted six or 12 months because they expected it to be one thing coming in. And once they started the business, they've gone, oh, fuck, that's not how it actually works. And six or 12 months later, they're out of business because, you know, and they're going back to get a regular job. And in many cases, it was a business that could have worked very well if they'd taken a step back and realised that they needed to invest into the business rather than using the business as a cash cow to, to try and extract money and live whatever lifestyle they want to live for that six months. And they just assume that it will go on forever. Even with this crypto shit at the moment, right? Like, And I know a lot of people have made a lot of money on crypto. I haven't gotten into it partly because I don't understand it and partly because, again, I'm keeping the money in the business, even three years in, keeping the money in the business as much as possible to grow the business. So what am I going to do? Take money out of the business to put it in crypto? And I understand the argument, right? You take money out of the business, put it in crypto, triple your money and then pull it back out of crypto and put it into the business. Like, I get it. But for me, because I don't understand crypto, I try not to get involved with things or talk about things I know fuck all about. And at this point in my life, crypto is one of them. It just is. So it's not something that I've gotten involved with yet. And it's like NFTs and all that shit that's around now. And I've got no clue that I, I stay with what I know. So I'm going to talk about what I know. I'm going to invest in what I know. So the investments that I've got are in things that I understand that market. And 
so that's that's how I'm going to continue to play. Maybe one day down the line I'll start investing in crypto and everything, but that it's that's a completely separate conversation altogether. This sacrifice thing, as much as it's very unsexy, is in my mind one of the keys to why I've been successful in the last three years with my business. Right, I could have taken out a lot more money out of the business and gone and bought the car, bought the house, bought the whatever the hell I wanted to. And it may have looked great, but I don't give a shit. I don't care if somebody else thinks that I'm cool because I've got whatever car or thinks that I'm awesome because I've got a house that's got six bedrooms and 17 bathrooms and, you know, for what? For me and my daughter? Why would I do that? I've I've moved, here you go, so I've moved in the last, shit, what's it been, three, four months now? I moved from my two-bedroom unit that I was renting for me and my daughter, which was perfect. I had basically my office was the lounge room or the lounge room was the office, however you want to look at it. I didn't, it, it was this tiny little two-bedroom place. It was nice. It was, it was only a three or four-year-old house uh, or unit. It was really nice, but it was small. It was, but it was just there for me and my daughter. And it was like $300 a week. And I was, I didn't go and get an office. I didn't, there was no value in me going and getting an office. That was a waste of money. My desk, my office essentially was my lounge room. And I worked from home. And that was great. I, I'd, I'd been telling people that I was going to live there for many, many years to come. I like, regardless how big the business got, I just felt like I was going to stay there. It was a nice place. It was cheap. It was in a good spot, all of that sort of stuff. And, and it suited me and my daughter. Perfect. Then four months ago, the real estate agent calls me and says, the owners are looking at selling the house, either buy it or get the fuck out. And I wasn't prepared to buy it, so I had to get the fuck out. So I was looking around for other places to rent and the best place that I was able to find and, and, you know, most cost effective and the one that I ended up getting is $440 a week. And it's, look, I, and I love it here. Don't get me wrong. I do love it here. And I've moved my office into one of the bedrooms. So now I've got two spare bedrooms. One of them's just filled with shit. It's a spare room. It's just got boxes of stuff, whatever. And the other one's completely empty. There's not one thing in it, and I don't expect there ever will be. You know, I might put another bed in there if somebody comes to stay, one of my family from Sydney, whatever, comes to stay. Fine, but I love it here. This this place is amazing. I love it, but I would have been just as – well, probably happier. I was going to say just as happy. I think I would have been happier staying in the other place than what I am here because, to me, the other place worked fine, and I was saving $140 a week. Like now I'm spending $140 a week on a place that in reality, while it's lovely, it's a beautiful house and everything is it's brilliant, it's way too big for what I need. So I think that's where a lot of people get caught. They think that, okay, it's great. I'm going to go and buy this big house. Or I'm going to go and buy this Mercedes or BMW or whatever they want to buy. And, but for what? Like, I mean, yes, I've got a Mercedes, but that Mercedes was paid off before I even started, well, before I even started the business. So it wasn't that I extracted money out of the business to go and buy a car. I already had it. The thing's seven years old now, and I I absolutely love it. I have no intention of ever getting rid of it. And so what? I've got a seven-year-old car. I could go and buy a new one. I could, but... For what? The car works perfect. Like, I'd rather keep the money in the business. Mm. So this is what I think a lot of people, especially when you're starting out in business, is you need to look at this. You need to look at what am I prepared to sacrifice? Am I prepared to sacrifice my time? There's the the three things. Am I prepared to sacrifice my time? How much time out of my 24 hours a day, you take out eight hours for sleeping and, you know, whatever time that you spend with your family – how much time out of what's left am I prepared to put into this? And even the family thing, like 
you may need to sacrifice a portion of the amount of time that you're spending with your family. It's not a nice thing to say, but if you're looking long term and this is going to be something that's going to build a, a, a business and an income for your family moving forward, then instead of spending three hours a night with your family, you spend two and you put that extra hour into running your business. There's nothing wrong with that. You, but you know, you want to spend three, you can still do it spending three hours with your family or four or five or whatever the number is. It's just going to take you longer, you know? And if you're looking long-term, that's perfectly fine. But for me, I felt like I wanted to put as much time as, as I could into the business, as much time and energy into the business as possible. Not because I wanted to grow up quickly and anybody that knows me will know I'm, I'm the complete opposite of that. I don't give two shits about the short term in anything. So it wasn't about growing it quickly, but I just felt like, as I said before, this is that's the done thing in business. You want to grow a business, you have to put in the time. And so you sacrifice other things. Second thing is money. You need to sacrifice spending money on – Gary Vaynerchuk says it best. People spend money on dumb shit to impress people they don't even like. I don't give two fucks who you're trying to impress, whether it's people you like or you don't like. But still, spending money on shit, like I said, I could go and buy a new car. I could. I could have done it two years ago. But I don't need to, and I'd rather keep the money in the business to grow the business than spend it on a new fucking car I don't need. So I think that's the key is audit what you're spending your money on and keep as much in the business. Pay yourself as little as possible. Like I said, even now, three years in, my business is turning over a substantial amount of money, and three years in, I'm still paying myself less than $50,000 a year. And part of the reason I'm paying myself more now than what I was a few months ago is because I've been forced to increase my rent by $140 a week. So I've kind of had to pay myself a little bit more to cover that. But I'm still not even paying myself 50 grand a year. All the money staying in the business. So that's something that you need to look at. And then leisure, what are you prepared to give up? Are you prepared to give up going out for drinks on a Friday night to put that Friday night, the time and money into the business? You know, are you prepared to give up going and playing golf on a Saturday morning to put that time and money into the business? Now, and keep in mind, this doesn't have to be a forever thing, right? It doesn't have to at all. It's, and it's, it's not for me. My, one of my personal goals that I want to do is be able to go and play golf once a fortnight. Right, that's it. It doesn't have to be a, an every week thing for me. And the once a fortnight thing, great. I'll get there at some point. But at this stage, again, three years in, at this stage, it makes more time, more sense for me to put that four, five, six hours that I'd be out on the golf course back into the business and growing the business. I'm prepared to sacrifice that because I want to to grow my business. So, and look. Every time I look at taking on a new business or starting a new business outside of my main company, I go through this and I say, okay, if I'm going to start this new business, it might be something completely separate. I've got a couple of things I'm working on at the moment. Now, if I'm looking at starting this new business, then what do I have to sacrifice out of time, money and leisure to be able to put into that new business? Now, time, if I'm sacrificing time, at the moment, I'm essentially sacrificing it out of my main business, which in the stage that it's at right now, I'm not doing a massive amount of. So if I look at something, I go, look, I might be able to dedicate five or 10 hours a week to this new venture, right? Or I might be able to put every second Saturday into this new venture or every second, whatever it is, right? So, but it's one of the things I look at. Because I'm not going out drinking with my friends every weekend. I'm not going out playing golf and sport and doing whatever else. And I'm paying myself bugger all. So for me, the main thing is time. If I'm taking time out of... If I I need to sacrifice time, I'm sacrificing it out of my existing business. So for me and maybe something to think about. For me, I won't sacrifice time during business hours out of my own business. That would be fucking stupid as far as I'm concerned because that's 
when I'm essentially dealing with the networks, dealing with my partners, dealing with my clients, dealing with whatever issues come up, dealing with anything to do with that business, I'll sacrifice time after hours if I need to. So it's, it's something that I look at now with starting new businesses, and I can't stress it enough. If you're not prepared to audit your life and say, okay, what am I prepared to sacrifice and actually do it, not just think about it and write it down on a whiteboard or on a bit of paper and think, okay, great, I'm going to do this, actually do it you'll see the result. So just look at it. Look at, okay, do I want to make this business work? If I want to make this business work, what am I prepared to give up? If you audit your life and you're not prepared to give up anything, you're not prepared to give up any of your time, any of your money, any of your lifestyle choices in order to make the business work, then it's not going to fucking work. Like, it's just not. You need to sacrifice time, money, leisure to make a business work. You just do. And using excuses of I can't do it because of this or that or whatever. So just look at what excuses are you making for not wanting to sacrifice? I can't sacrifice because I need to go out with my boys drinking on a Friday night. I can't sacrifice because I have to spend three hours a night watching Netflix or some horseshit fucking dating show or reality show on TV. You know, I can't sacrifice because I need to have my, it's, I need my leisure time. I need to go out and play golf. Well, okay, fine, go and play golf, but then just understand that you're losing time that you could be putting into your business. So if you audit your life because you want to make a business work, you want this business to work, I'm going to audit my life. I'm going to look at what I can sacrifice and then actually do it, right? It's one thing to write it down on a whiteboard or write it down on a bit of paper and say, this is where I'm wasting all my time or, well, not even necessarily wasting, but this is where I'm spending my time. This is what I'm spending my money on. This is what I could be actually putting back into the business to make the business work. If you audit your life and you come up with, okay, I've got X amount of time I can put into this business, then just fucking do it. Like, just do it. It doesn't matter. And don't judge what you're doing within the business, right? This is one of the, the traps that people fall into, and, and I did as well. You just look at all the things that you're spending your time on and you say, okay, could I put this time into my business? Yes, I could or no, I can't. It's very fucking binary. Either yes, I'm prepared to do it, or no, I'm not. If you're not, fine. You don't have to do it. But just understand that your business is going to be a lot slower to grow if you're taking time and money away from the business instead of putting time and money into the business. And that's, you know, if you want to grow something that's, would you know, my business ta has taken me three years to grow to this point. If I had only worked half of the time and put half of the money back in and kept extracting money out of the business to buy a new car or whatever bullshit I wanted to buy, then that three years would have taken six or seven. It just would. And so if you're fine with that, then not a problem. But the issue that most of the time comes up is that people want it fast. And they want it fast, but they still want to be able to extract money out of the business straight away to live whatever fucking lifestyle they want to live. You know, and that's fine if they want to do it, but just understand that it's going to be something that you're not, you're probably not even listening. If, if that's the mentality that you have, you're probably not even listening to this podcast at this point because you would have flicked off as soon as you heard the word fucking sacrifice. Because it's, like I said at the start, it's the most unsexy part about owning a business is the level of sacrifice. That you have. Not one, not one business owner or client that I have that has built a successful business has done so without sacrificing time, money, leisure. You need to sacrifice those things if you want to build a business. So look at it at the start. Like I said, I still do it now when I'm looking at starting or investing in a business. I look at it and say, okay, how much time, money, and leisure am I going to have to take away from what I'm doing right now to put into this new business if I want to make it work? 
And if I'm not prepared to do that, then I don't start the business or I don't invest in, like, what's the point of doing that? Why would you start something with the understanding that I'm not prepared to do what it takes to make this work? The fuck would you do that for? I, that is not something I'm ever going to understand, but so many people do it. And I genuinely feel like that's a big part of why so many businesses fail because they don't actually sit down before starting the business and look at this and go, what the fuck am I prepared to sacrifice? You don't get something in life without giving something else up. You just don't ever. And that's not a bad thing because a lot of the time what you're getting back when you put the effort in and the time is better than what you've given up. So I think that's pretty well beaten this to death now. If you want to start a business and make it successful, then audit your life, look at what you're spending your time and your money on and have a very honest conversation with yourself around what am I prepared to sacrifice out of the time and the money and the lifestyle slash leisure and take that out of there and put it into starting this business or growing this business. Have that conversation with yourself like I did because the amount of value that you'll get out of that for yourself and the amount of clarity and self-awareness that you'll get out of it as well will blow your mind. If, if somebody right now has a business, knows, once they do their audit, knows that, okay, I'm taking too much money out of the business, I'm taking too much time out of the business, and then starts putting that back into the business, contact me six months later and let me know how that went. I would love to know. I would love to have that case study. That would be fucking amazing because my theory is that that six months you'll get more done, depending on, like, if, if you're taking $100 more out and two hours out, then, okay, fine, it's not going to make that much fucking difference. But if you're taking $1,000 a week more than what you really need to live and you're taking 10, 15 hours out of your business life that you could invest back into your business life every week, they're the sort of people I'm talking about. If that's you and if that's something that you're you're doing right now and you're prepared to put that back in for the next six months, I would love for you to contact me in six months' time and let me know how that went. My theory is that your business in this next six months will probably be more profitable than your last 18 months to two, maybe three years. Maybe three. Depends how long you've been doing it for, I guess. I would love to hear that, though. Please, if this is if somebody's here that's prepared to do it, contact me now. Tell me you're prepared to do this, and we'll follow it through. I'll follow it through with you. I want, I'll check up on you from time to time and see how you're going with it. And you know, I would love to do that. So, if anybody's in that position, get in touch with me, and we'll have a conversation because I think that would be a, an amazing case study and it's it i can almost guarantee that it's going to help your business substantially so i think that's pretty well beaten this to death now if you want to start a business and make it successful then audit your life look at what you're spending your time and your money on and have a very honest conversation with yourself around what am i prepared to sacrifice out of the time and the money and the lifestyle slash leisure and take that out of there and put it into starting this business or growing this business. Have that conversation with yourself like I did because the amount of value that you'll get out of that for yourself and the amount of clarity and self-awareness that you'll get out of it as well will blow your mind. If, if somebody right now has a business, knows, once they do their audit, knows that, okay, I'm taking too much money out of the business, I'm taking too much time out of the business, and then starts putting that back into the business, contact me six months later and let me know how that went. I would love to know. 
I would love to have that case study. That would be fucking amazing because my theory is that that six months you'll get more done depending on like if, if you're taking $100 more out and two hours out, then okay, fine. It's not going to make that much fucking difference. But if you're taking $1,000 a week more than what you really need to live and you're taking 10, 15 hours out of your business life that you could invest back into your business life every week, they're the sort of people I'm talking about. If that's you and if that's something that you're you're doing right now and you're prepared to put that back in for the next six months, I would love for you to contact me in six months' time and let me know how that went. My theory is that your business in this next six months will probably be more profitable than your last... 18 months to two, maybe three years. Maybe three. Depends how long you've been doing it for, I guess. I would love to hear that, though. Please, if this is, if somebody's here that's prepared to do it, contact me now. Tell me you're prepared to do this. And we'll follow it through. I'll follow it through with you. I'll, I'll check up on you from time to time and see how you're going with it. And, you know, I would love to do that. So if anybody's in that position, get in touch with me. And we'll have a conversation because I think that would be a, an amazing case study. And it's it, I can almost guarantee that it's going to help your business substantially. <laughs>